here. It's the 2nd of March, 21, and we've got a little bit of a cloudy day. Slow moving clouds, a little breezy, kind of nice. Uh, we're getting into the hot weather now, and this is, this is what I like. Hopefully the back will ease up. Uh, this morning I started, I'm going to start about a week long fast again. Uh, I've been taking some stuff for, you know, bacteria and stuff in, in the gut. Uh, it's, it's an organic kind of stuff uh, and it, for any kind of parasites or anything like that because the way my mouth just is water and, and I've been taking it for, I think it was 16 days today. I still got a good pile of it left to drink the tea every day. And uh, I don't know if they're, whatever's in there is revolting or what, but my stomach just hasn't been hasn't been right at all so i'm just going to just pump some water i'll just keep drinking the tea until it's gone pump some water but uh i like the heat i was in the sun for a good while today uh real nice uh, we've got some running around to do yet uh, we got to go down to uh, lip of the house is moving along real good we had some extras done and uh, i have to pay for the extras uh we're, so i'm going to run down there uh, later on in the week uh, the girl's still tallying up all the stuff I guess whenever she sends it I'll I'll get down there and pay her that and uh, but they got the concrete done already she sent me some new pictures uh, the concrete is in the back is all done with the drains uh, you know I didn't want it tiled or anything like that but uh, she looks good it looks good to me and then uh, you know, they're going to do those cabinets in there. No windows yet, so you know. I hope this thing gets moved along. We we want to. Hopefully, we'll go down there and do the turnover. They call it uh, sometime this month, and then in in April we'll move. Uh, we got the trucking guy. Uh, he's ready to go. He says, "You you tell me when it'll be. It'll be on a weekend. Uh, yes, do it on a weekend because he works through the week." And I'm like, "Cool." And uh, we'll get this stuff. We should be able to get it in one shot. Uh, we're going to get some folks coming over to get a lot of the stuff we have already. Uh, you know, like these dressers and stuff, give them all away. We, we're not, uh, I'm not going to bring any plastic dressers there. We'll buy, you know, new wooden dressers for the kids. So hopefully that'll be good. But uh, I got to cut it off right now. I got my water guy here, so I'll be back in a bit. I'm back. There's our water we get. And I got a few more over here. I use these ones. Uh, I drink the distilled water. And uh, I use these ones because I get them for 10 pesos each. Two of these will fill up one of those blue things, and that costs 25 to fill up. So somebody said, oh, you're just cheap. Oh, well, I'll pay too much if I don't have to. And I, it gives it, uh, we can give the guy who brings the water, I can give him a nice tip that way. You know, he's always pretty good when I wave at him. He always comes and gets them. And, and uh, so that's pretty good. And some of my neighbors around here come and ask for them. There's a little old guy who comes here, a neighbor down there. We give it to them because they're, they're the same deal. They're the, they're the same thing. They get that filled up for a lot cheaper. And because uh, you can't drink anything out of the taps here. You, you sure wouldn't want to. We get a lot of times in this house where it just looks like diarrhea coming out of the pipes. Uh, they used to clean it all the time. Uh, you know, and then you had to watch while they were, while were cleaning it out. But uh, I, they, I don't think they've cleaned it in quite a while. Water bill just came in. It's not too high here. Uh, this month was 13. I got a leak in there. Need to fix. It's just the only problem is with it. It's the plastic uh, pipe is right at the wall. And the only way to put a new piece on, to glue a new piece on, is hacking out part of the wall. You know to to get access to it they, they just don't leave pipe sticking out far enough in order to fix and uh, these houses when they put them up they put incredibly cheap uh, faucets in the faucets are real real crappy uh, it's like a plastic the handles break off them they don't hold into the uh, place where it's going and the inside is not brass or metal at all it's plastic and it's got a low rings that fail so stuff leaks here you know they it, it'd be nice to replace them all with good stuff hello goofy uh with real good stuff but uh you know it, it, it's just to get it connected up uh, because the you know it's all plastic pipe here it's the blue stuff and it's not a really good uh it's not a really good pipe and they don't leave you enough you know like when they build on my house i had them uh, leave me 
some I want it coming out of the wall a little bit. I don't I don't want it where I got to bust open the dang wall to get to my pipe because eventually it's going to go. But I had I made sure all the faucets were high quality faucets, not these uh, these little El Cheapo plastic jobs. So that's good. And we got our nice sink. We got a, the upgrade on the sink was only a tiny bit more. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot. The, the sink that was there was only like four inches or so deep, uh, real shallow, no way to get the pots in. Uh, and this one here, it looked like uh, it looked like it was no hot and cold, but if you turn it to the right, it's hot, and to the left, it's cold. Kind of like a shower diverter. So uh, that that's going to be nice, and it's got a big gooseneck on it, so that way I'll get my pots in there. I only got one more pot I want to buy when I go to S and M, but it won't. It'll be after we move because this this month uh, we gotta we gotta give them for all the extras. I gotta pay all that, uh, so that added up that added up to. Uh, quite a tidy sum uh, about half of you know of our monthly what, what I budget for the month so I got to be uh, got to be careful with any spending no no spending and it's going to be tough this month because I got Marifay's birthday and then I got little uh, Maddie's birthday so it's just going to be a rough month that's why we, we're going to plan it to move uh, in April instead of you know whenever we do the signing and that should be pretty soon I'm hoping they get these dang windows moving. I see that the paint, she sent us like 19 pictures, and uh, the paint's all on, uh, just about outside. Uh, there, there are some of the scaffoldings down already. Uh, it looks very nice. Uh, they, they do a pretty, uh, pretty nice looking job. So hopefully we'll be, we'll be moving in out of here soon. I'm gonna probably have to give the landlord a, a couple thousand pesos just to, because we're only up to like the 25th, I believe. Uh, so we got to go ahead and uh, well, let's see. It was about the twentieth. I think it was about the twentieth uh, that we're we're paid till, and that's using the deposit. Somebody asked me on the comments, "Oh, you're going to get your deposit back?" Well, we're living on that this month. So, but I'm going to have to give them a, a couple more weeks. Uh, it's ten thousand a month. So if I give them five, that'll that'll get me into uh, well into April, uh, and then we got our electric bill. I'm going to I'm pay that this month. But I think I'm just going to give a little extra. I'll give about half again as much, uh, or maybe even the, the whole bill, just so just so we don't. Uh, I don't want anything owed. He's been pretty square with us, and I want to be real square with him. We're even going to have the place cleaned before we go. When we came here, we had to clean it, uh, but we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and clean it. He needs to get a guy in here though to fix those tiles upstairs. I mean, it's just ridiculous how these tiles came up here. Uh, what they did with the tiles, uh, these houses came on a crane. They didn't block these walls. They came with big poured concrete pieces and set them in place and connected them together. Is how they did it. And the problem with that, uh, the guy who did the tile, he ran the tile right up to the corners. He didn't leave. He didn't leave any kind of a gap. So when the earthquake happened and when things happened, the house, you know, they, they move a little bit. These houses move in the earthquake. And, uh, and then the subsidence, uh, the way the house starts to settle, and it just smashed it all up. You know, now the downstairs is okay, but the upstairs, uh, we don't use it for, you know, I don't want the kids getting their feet all cut up. You know, I know when Tim was here and he was staying up there, I said, hey, you know, just be careful on that because pretty much every room now has tiles all smashed up. It just lifts. It was lifting this far. And, uh, you know, that's not that's not real good. I don't like that that happened. But he's going to have to get a tile man in here as quickly as he can and then have a plumber come and fix the few minor uh, uh, plumbing things, get some faucets going. There's no drain in the bathroom down here. Uh, the drain's just all rusted out. And... Uh, you know we're doing okay. Um, you know I got a, I got a hose that I hook up on the thing for my shower, but I'm going to be glad we get to the new house. It's going to have a regular proper shower with hot water. I'm looking forward to taking a hot shower. I, I you know the Tabo stuff. I've been doing it for eight years. When I was down in Davao uh, for six months, I had I had access to a hot shower, and that was a good one. And I and I also found out that a uh, 3,500 watt uh, Insta hot is not big enough to heat water because I got I got a warm shower. I didn't get a hot shower, but I got a nice warm shower, and it had to be put on complete uh, hot in order for me to get a 
good warm shower though. So when we bought our uh, Instahot, I went ahead and got a uh, 6,500 watt. And uh, I think we're going to worry about the, air, the electric bill and all that. I, I want a hot shower. That's all there is to it. And uh, we also got the guy they're putting in our big whole house uh, filter uh, so that, you know, so that our, our, uh, we don't get a lot of silt down in the pipe and down through the faucets and all that stuff. Try to collect as much as we can. I've got an opening on the outside. So if they give us a notice they're going to clean the tank, I can, I can uh, before it comes in the house, I'll purge all that out so we don't get like here with all that, the brown gook. I don't know how it's going to work down there uh, with their water. I don't know how, how they do it, but uh, we'll see when we get down there. But I don't want to get any gook in all there. That's what corrodes all these drains and stuff, all that sediment you know you got it in your traps and stuff and then that sediment sits there and who, you know who knows what that is it's all rust and corrosion so it sits down in the bottom of the trap and that's what eats it out now if I'd have, if I'd have got here first uh, before they were routed out there's a little plug on the bottom at the bottom of the trap that you can pull out and you can clean that out and uh, you know I'd have done that I did that when I lived in uh, the Midwest I, I always kept that clean. I cleaned my water heater on a regular basis. Uh, but even if I ever went back to the States and was going to do, uh, you know, another house, I would definitely go with like Instahots or, or a gas, a natural gas uh, whole house without a t tankless, you know, tankless water heater. Because it's, it's uh, you're paying to keep that water hot all the time. I mean, you're constantly keeping that hot. And... You know what's the point of that if you're if you're not going to use it all the time? Now with the kids and stuff, they they take a, a cold bath. They like it, you know, and I don't mind it. Uh, it's just there's some days. It's not like I'm going to take a hot shower every day. It's just on the days I feel cold. And uh, but but a lot of days it's like later on. Since I'm done with the video, I'm going to jump in there and spray myself with some cold water. Uh, that's what I'm looking forward to because I've been, I sweated up pretty good today. But uh, glad we got our water guy done. I ran around and got got a few things done. Got the car washed. Uh, got him got him to clean it out. It's uh, very inexpensive here. It, it's so inexpensive here to get your car washed. Uh, this place that I'm going to now is uh, 130 pesos. So you're you're looking at under three bucks to get your car washed. They do a real good job. Uh, they like gang bang it. A whole bunch of them just jump on it right at once. Uh, you know, they start on the inside, you know, one guy in the passenger side, one in the driver's side, and one in the back, and they whip through it like nothing. And they get in there and they clean the inside windows. Mm, pretty good. And then, uh, boom, they close everything up. They, they even get the inside of the door seals. And then they hit the outside real quick. And you're in and out of there in no time for under three bucks. So why the heck would I wash my car? I used to have the guy that would come here and... Uh, you know, I was giving him really good tips. He was coming right to the house, and then he just sort of quit coming. I don't know if he's not doing that anymore. Uh, but now they got a new uh, guy. He put a flyer on the uh, on our door about a uh, new comes to your house and washes. So we uh, might try him. But this place right now for 130 peso, you know, I give him 200, uh, and that'll buy him a little ba on maybe. But uh, those guys are pretty cool down there, very nice fellas. Uh, all of them are smiling and happy. They got their tunes jamming and they're, they're dancing while they're washing the car. And uh, it's good to see that. It's, it's good to see, you know, be happy in your work, you know, like Bridge Over River Kwai. Uh, those guys are uh, happy. They look all well adjusted. And uh, I'm, I'm just glad to see it and I don't mind using them. I'm gonna keep using them until something goes wrong. The first place I always went to, they kept jacking up the price and stuff and then we just heard from the neighbor they, they were closed i go down there there's nothing there and i was telling the neighbor yeah that's closed he goes oh yeah the the owner of the place i guess he owes them a million he owes them a whole million in the rent and uh, from what was left over for the water and electric and all this kind of stuff they just boogied on the guy and he's probably gonna have to you know suck it up and eat that uh, very very sad case but those guys, they did a real good job in the beginning. I tipped them well, and then they would they have the, the Econo wash. All of a sudden, there wasn't that one. You had to get their premium wash every time, and I didn't notice them doing a damn thing different uh, than what was done before. So I just stopped tipping them, and then I just stopped going. I was just like, no, that, that's, uh, that's not cool at all. So. 
but a beautiful day uh, and I'm, it's my kind of my kind of weather now it's about 90 right now a little bit of a breeze you go out in the sun you're cooking you're cooking I'm all I was all sweaty I was dripping out there so I love this kind of weather this is what I it's what I live for I probably could live just fine in a desert I, I, I probably would be just fine so but this is Rick Shaw and I want to tell you all uh, uh, be careful with everybody oh I forgot something else too on my Facebook page uh, somebody sent me uh, sent me a thing and it had all the irregularities with the with the DIC and if you know see my last videos you know who I'm talking about the vital file but uh, if you if you look on there about all this stuff where there's no lights on in the house that is uh, is white and it, you know, I got to do my quatrains and uh, you know all the stuff that's going on there with meetings and and then all this stuff the guy laid out a real long thing you'll have to read it. it's kind of a kind of interesting read it might be hopium I don't know but but uh, look on that on the Rickshaw Philippines uh, Facebook page it's got the same little yellow car as uh, as what I have on here and uh, it was it was an interesting read for me anyway uh, so we're, we'll see what's happening uh, I see that the, the Don is gonna he's looking to, to run again in 24 I got a sneaky suspicion just like in history past that uh, they'll clean out all these uh, libs during the midterms it's just gonna happen he's not gonna open up his own party he's just gonna keep working with the Republicans and I think he's gonna be a very busy man right now uh, you know getting people primaried and uh, getting some new blood in there uh, and the thing that really gets me I, I don't understand this at all but right now you got this uh, uh, DIC he's signing stuff he doesn't even know what it is he's even so what's this what's this why don't they make a why don't they make a big bill and slip slip term limits in there and put a bunch of stuff in there that all the people want I mean you, you, people would want it on both sides of the aisle you get these people in there too long and, and you start looking I got some stuff on the Facebook and things I've been reading where you know these people get into office both sides I ain't, I ain't blaming one side or the other uh, they get in office and they you know they're worth this much money and then before you know it they're, they're they got a hundred million dollars or fifty million dollars in the bank on, on a salary that is really isn't that much so I, I just I just like to see them uh, revolve through give everybody a couple terms they got it for the president you know so what's the deal and then these these jokers can and vote their own pay raise in and now they're doing something with this uh, stimuli that uh, it's not really going for us guys these are payoffs it's not I mean holy mackerel they, they should give you they should just say yeah we're gonna give you two thousand a month and make it five months retroactive so people can catch up with things they stopped us from going to work guys they're the ones who sh they're shutting all the small businesses down they say that oh the Don he was all for big business no now you look who's for big business Walmart Costco uh, Amazon what's what's up with them they're doing just fine they can eat this but mom and pop look how many places closed the mom and pop places are closing you got people fleeing New York and California I just hope when they land in another state they don't bring their crazed BS that got them in trouble in the first place with them and start voting for these nutty buddies uh, I just don't get it but like I say pray for them all pray for the leaders uh, thank the good Lord for every breath you got this is Rick Shaw out